Welcome to Surgery Squad's Virtual Dental Crown. I'm Dr. Jeff, and I'll be assisting you with this procedure today. A dental crown is a tooth-shaped cap that is used not only to restore the strength and functionality of a tooth, but can also improve its overall appearance. Before we begin, let's review the types of crowns used in dentistry. First up, temporary crowns. Temporary crowns are placed over a patient's tooth while they wait for their permanent crown. They're usually prefabricated and made of plastic or stainless steel. A patient's permanent crown can be all metal, porcelain fused to metal, all porcelain, or all ceramic, each with their own advantages and disadvantages. Click on the different types of crowns to learn more about them. When you're ready to move on, click the Continue button. The metals that are used in all metal crowns include gold, palladium, nickel, or chromium alloys. While all metal crowns require less tooth structure to be removed and have increased durability, they don't have a tooth-colored appearance. Unlike metal crowns, porcelain fused to metal crowns can be matched to the color of your teeth. Unfortunately, the underlying metal may show through at the gum line, and the porcelain could chip off over time. All porcelain or all ceramic crowns have the closest appearance of a natural tooth and may be ideal for those with metal allergies. However, they have slightly less durability than porcelain fused to metal crowns, and because they require more preparation, they can be a bit more expensive than other types of crowns. Our patient came in today with a broken tooth, courtesy of a freak softball accident, and we get the rewarding task of placing a crown in. If you haven't noticed already, it's one of their lower front teeth, tooth 23. Let's review what we're going to do today. To begin, we'll numb the tooth, then shape it, take impressions for our dental lab, place a temporary crown, and determine the shade of the tooth. When our patient returns for their next appointment, we'll place their permanent crown. Now, let's put on our gloves and get down to business. First, place some topical numbing gel on the injection site. This will alleviate any pain or discomfort the needle may cause. Now we need to inject the local anesthetic. After it has taken effect, the area around the tooth and the patient's lower lip should be numb for a few hours. Inject the local anesthetic into the patient's gums, just below the tooth we'll be working on. Let's wait a few minutes to allow the anesthetic to set in. Now that the area has become completely numb, we can move on to preparing the tooth. To begin, we'll reduce the size of the tooth, cutting it away from the adjacent teeth. Go ahead, give it a try. It looks good, but we need to create a more tapered top to the tooth. This will allow for a more comfortable and exact fit for both the temporary and permanent crowns. That'll do. Now that the tooth has been shaped, we'll need to take impressions of our patient's teeth. This is done by placing impression trays into the mouth and having the patient bite down on them. These trays are filled with a putty-like substance that is generally referred to as impression material. The impression material is used to create a plaster cast and is then sent to our dental lab where a dental technician will make the patient's permanent crown. Go ahead and make the impressions of our patient's teeth. When you're done, I'll have my dental assistant create the plaster cast and send it to the lab, where the magic happens. Ah.
Excellent work. My dental assistant just informed me that our patient would like an all porcelain crown on the tooth. So before we can finish up with them for the day, we need to determine the shade of porcelain that resembles their natural teeth. Can you handle this? That looks like a match. The last item on today's agenda is to place the temporary crown. The temporary crowns that we use are prefabricated and made of plastic. I've already lined the inside of the crown with the temporary cement, so go ahead and place it on the prepared tooth. Since it's only a temporary crown, there are some guidelines our patient will need to be aware of before they go. They need to avoid sticky and hard foods. Try not to chew using the temporary crown and steer clear of flossing on either side of the temporary crown. By flossing around the temporary crown, our patient may unintentionally pull the crown off the tooth. Well, we've done all we can do today. Our patient will need to come back in a week to have their permanent crown placed. Welcome back. Our patient has returned and is ready to have their permanent crown put on. Begin by using the dental hemostat to remove the temporary crown that we placed on the tooth last week. Now use the Explorer to remove any excess temporary cement and debris. I've already checked the fit and color of the permanent crown, and everything seems great. I've applied cement on the inside of the crown, so it's ready for you to place. Perfect. After the cement has hardened, the dentist would check the fit of the crown again and the patient's bite to ensure that there are no issues. Luckily for our patient, you did a marvelous job. After placing the permanent crown, our patient may notice some mild sensitivity for the first hour. Their dentist will also offer them some post-case recommendations to follow before they leave. This includes waiting at least an hour before having anything to eat or drink, and waiting 24 hours before enjoying their favorite sticky or chewy foods. If our patient has any pain or sensitivity when they bite down, they should contact their dentist immediately. This may indicate that the crown is too high on the tooth and needs to be adjusted. Most dental crowns last anywhere between 5 and 15 years, depending on normal wear and tear, oral hygiene habits, and other behaviors, such as teeth grinding, chewing ice, or biting your fingernails. Well, I hope you've enjoyed placing a dental crown. Maybe you should consider a career in dentistry. While you're at it, check out other great surgeries here at SurgerySquad.com. Check out our other videos on SurgerySquad.com.